welcome aboard Chevalier Paul, an Horizon class air defense frigate of the French Navy. Navy recognition has the rare chance to spend two days at sea with the crew as the vessel is underway for a military exercise. Displacing 7,000 tons, Horizon is the largest and most powerful surface combatant in the French fleet. First, let's meet with the commanding officer to learn more about his vessel. Chevalier Paul is a multi-role surface combatant uh, specialized in uh, air defense. Um, this is a 150 meters frigate, uh, 20 meters beam, and uh, she has uh, 7,000 tons of displacement. Uh, we have uh, 205 sailors on board, including the uh, helicopter detachment, and we have about uh, 25 uh, officers. 120 petty officers and about uh, 60 seamen on board. Uh, the two main mission of this uh, destroyer is first to provide uh, protection against any uh, sort of uh, air threat uh, from supersonic missiles to drones and mainly we are protecting aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle but also amphibious uh, ships or any other high value units. The second mission of um, the destroyer Chevalier Paul is to provide command and control capability to an airspace in an operation area. Chevalier Paul is clearly a destroyer uh, by air size and air sensors and air weapons. But uh, in the French way, we used to name uh, any surface combatant by the name of frigate, uh, whatever uh, is their size or whatever is their specialization. So this is just a use in, uh, in our Navy. Chevalier Paul was deployed with a carrier strike group uh, for two months. The main mission was to contribute to uh, the, coli the international coalition to defeat Daesh. And the deployment of the carrier strike group was to reinforce the French military assets deployed in uh, Operation Inherent Resolve uh, against Daesh. Uh, the Chevalier Paul was deployed to protect uh, Charles de Gaulle's strike groups and uh, of course he was in charge of air defense but also of uh, anti-surface -sur warfare and anti-submarine warfare missions. Uh, during this deployment that goes that went pretty well uh, we had also other type of mission like uh, ISR and different other missions uh, to contribute to the tactical situation to the coalition against Daesh. You know, since many years, we, we had many uh, combined naval operations with the U.S. Navy and Royal Navy. Uh, for example, in 2015, uh, the carrier strike group uh, of Charles de Gaulle deployed with a U.K. Uh, frigate uh, during Operation Inherent Resolve uh, in the fight against Daesh. About the cooperation with the U.S. Navy, we uh, recently reached uh, an unprecedented level of interoperability as uh, the carrier strike group took command of uh, Task Force 50. The US strike force engaged in Operation uh, Inherent Resolve against the H2. And the last example of uh, this very good level of uh, combined naval operation is the last deployment at Roman 3 where a USS Ross, uh, a US destroyer, was deployed in protection of the Charles de Gaulle. Au feu, au feu! Le DDX se trouve en poursuite Echo 1-6. Équipe d'alarme radiation arrière. Le personnel se situe en sur l'avant. Utilisez les panneaux. Allez, 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 all
On a un coffre à artifice plage avant aussi qui est plein. Il y a quatre pompiers lourds. Il y a quatre pompiers lourds, ce qu'ils arrivent. Fin de l'exercice, rangement du matériel. Uh, Gabion is a periodic exercise for the French Navy. The goal of this exercise is to train uh, all the surface combatant ships based in Toulon. Uh, by concentrating all the surface ships, uh, we can optimize and mutualize the constraints and the needs of training, of different training. And we can, um, for example, uh, when you have an aircraft, uh, with different ships, you can train them with only one aircraft, for example, for training uh, against uh, anti-ship missiles. Another example is, for example, this morning, we towed a ship, so it's a, it's a really uh, a mutual training during this period. If we have any uh, casualty on a ship in a carrier strike group, for example, we have to be able to uh, tow this ship to a safe port uh, and of course the second reason is to keep the, our knowledge and our capability uh, in this field. There are 19 workstations inside the CIC of Chevalier Paul. These are multifunction consoles, meaning each operator can uh, use any of these consoles and uh, use his own configuration to conduct his missions. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Uh, I'm the uh, Lieutenant uh, Thibault, and uh, here I'm uh, responsible of uh, air defense on board and uh, commandment of uh, air defense in a naval force, in a task group. This ship is um, specialized in uh, air defense and um, fitted with uh, PAMS principal anti-air missile system. The system consists in a three-dimensional uh, radar, long-range radar, uh, which uh, can identify and track, uh, and track some uh, aircraft at more than uh, 200 kilometers. Uh, and uh, this system is uh, completed by uh, a missile system with the uh, vertical launcher and the missile uh, Aster, uh, Aster 30 and Aster 15, uh, which are leaded by um, a fire control radar, the Empar, uh, European multi-phased array radar. Uh, which, uh, which can uh, uh, guide a missile, lead missile to the target uh, at more than, uh, at about uh, 100 uh, kilometers. It's a new technology which uh, allows the, the ship to target uh, many, many tracks uh, at the same time and it uh, also uh, get, um, allows us to, to, uh, to have more uh, uh, range uh, so uh, against uh, missiles or aircraft, and uh, our fire control radar is uh, also new generation one, so it it, it allows the, the ship to face a saturation of threats. Contact sonar azimut 205, distance 3100 mètres. Je le charge dans le 207, 3000 mètres. 207, 3000 mètres. Contact en route au 325 8 nœuds. Abri de l'asthme, par la gauche, venir au 310. Par la gauche, au 310. I'm uh, Lieutenant Maxelois. I'm in charge in CIC of uh, anti-submarine warfare. Here there is a place dedicated for anti-submarine warfare with two models. There is a 24 hour a day, uh, two operators. One uh, in front of the 4110 all mounted sonar and the second in front of the anti torpedo models. In full capacity, uh, the ship is able to uh, track a sonar contact with their uh, two models. At the same time, control an anti submarine helicopter and uh, advise the command for uh, the submarine uh, threat. Beep, beep. 
Le contact est classé très bon, 33 points. Now we are in the torpedo launching room. We have uh, one barrel for each side of the ship and uh, it's a barrel for uh, MU-90 torpedo. This torpedo is uh, especially for submarine. Uh, the range are about uh, 10 nautical miles. Uh, we can fire uh, those torpedo uh, from the CIC or from here, which uh, people who he is in charge uh, during a combat uh, station. We are in the gun bay and we are uh, facing the uh, feeder of the uh, main uh, gun. This configuration uh, aim uh, to, to be ready to release the maximum uh, quantity of, uh, of ammunition <coughs> against uh, missiles coming uh, toward uh, the unit. Um, and we should be able to fight against, of course, missiles, but also uh, vessels and uh, maybe uh, Earth's uh, target. So the aim is to be ready to release the maximum quantity of ammunition against the target. This system um, is able to, to release uh, 120 runs per minute and uh, ready to, to release uh, 80 runs. The benefit of the configuration with two main gains is to be ready to release the maximum quantity of ammunition against the target in the minimum time. Today we are uh, in exercise, so in exercise we use uh, two kinds of ammunition. Uh, first and uh, foremost, we have the target practical. Uh, tra target practice ammunition is a um, kind of real ammunition, but we are without um, explosive uh, device. And uh, the other ammunition is a high explosive ammunition, uh, like uh, combat ammunition. Another advantage of a two guns configuration is to be uh, able to fight against two targets in the same times. One of the main sensor systems aboard the vessel is the S1850 Smart L Long Range Radar by Thales. For anti-surface warfare, Chevalier Paul may be fitted with up to 8 MM40 Block 3 Exocet anti-ship missiles by MBDA. This is the NGDS decoy launcher by Sagem. It can deploy electromagnetic and infrared decoys made by Lacroix. There are two 20mm manned weapon stations on board the ship to fight against asymmetric threats. One on port side and another one on starboard side. C'est bon pour vous Allez, zéro là-bas. Zéro là-bas. On est parti, moins de 10. Ok. Là, est à zéro. À gauche 10. À gauche 10. I'm here as part of a bilateral exchange. Um, it was set up in 2010 after the Lancaster House Agreement and uh, I'm the first British officer to come on board in the role of Principal Warfare Officer. Um, and I started my training at Saint-Mandrier in France in 2015. I joined the ship in June 2016 and my role on board is as a Principal Warfare Officer for two years. So I've spent 18 months in France now and I'm getting to, getting to grips with the, the culture uh, and the language. Uh, it's very different trying to work in a, in a second language all the time, which gives me great appreciation for foreign other countries working uh, in NATO. Um, and it's interesting because there are times when everything's kind of the same, but very different. Uh, it gives me a chance to, to work with different countries.
Normally in the Royal Navy, we have weapons engineering officers and warfare officers. But here in the French Navy, those are one and the same. I work together. So my main job is as the head of the electromagnetic detection sector. So essentially the radars and uh, the cameras that we have on board to help uh, detect and keep uh, the tactical situation. I'm also um, a principal warfare officer, but because I've just arrived on board, at the moment I'm working as an officer of the watch on the bridge to get grips with uh, French operations and how the French work compared to how we work in the Royal Navy. And after that, I'll then move down to the ops room and work as a principal warfare officer, keeping watches and uh, driving the tactical situation and fighting the ship for the captain. This destroyer, the French ship Chevalier Paul, is a, a co-dog. He is equipped with two diesel engines and two gas turbines. Uh, the diesels are both uh, 5,800 uh, horsepower and the turbines 28,000 horsepower. Uh, with the two diesel engines, we, we are able to go to about 17 knots, and with the two gas turbines, we can almost reach 30 knots. So uh, why we have gas turbine on board is to allow us to follow the Charles de Gaulle during his operations and be able to keep up with the pace of uh, nuclear uh, engine uh, propulsion. In this room I am the engineer on duty, so I'm responsible for controlling the, the propulsion of the ship, the production of uh, power, and also on the other side of the room, you have the damage control room where the two uh, crew members are responsible for the safety and the security of the ship regarding, well, mostly the firefighting. A pretty unique feature of the Horizon class air defense frigates is the presence of a gym where the entire crew can work out and stay in shape. Another pretty unique feature of the Chevalier Paul is the presence of an emergency CIC. In case of damage or emergency with the original CIC, part of the crew can come here and continue their combat operations. Chevalier Paul can command a naval task force as well. An admiral may use this dedicated room located right next to the CIC to command and conduct his naval operation. Today for the Gabion uh, exercise, um, as you can see, we inter interoperate with uh, Panzer uh, hel helicopter. Um, so we, we got um, a refueling operation as well. So um, we are we are very used to to doing such um, exercises with uh, other type of uh, helicopters. And when when we are in operations, uh, we we also do it with um, helicopter of other uh, nations. To take the, the helicopter ready from the, the hangar to take off, it takes more or less 30 minutes. But when we are in operation and we are, when, if we are quite in a hurry, we, it, it can take uh, uh, less than 30 minutes. This concludes our journey aboard Chevalier Paul. As you could see, it is not just an air defense frigate, but a true multi mission, top of the line surface combatant. I would like to personally thank the commanding officer and the entire crew of Chevalier Paul for their warm welcome aboard their vessel.